Welcome to Psalm Bites, your daily devotional where we will read and pray through the entire book of Psalms in bite-sized portions. Let's begin with two short prayers inspired by Psalm 119.18 in James 1.22. God, open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your word, and help me to be not just a hearer of the word, but a doer. Today we will be reading Psalm 38 verses 18 through 22. For I will declare my iniquity, I will be in anguish over my sin. But my enemies are vigorous and they are strong, and those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. Those also who render evil for good, they are my adversaries, because I follow what is good. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. I'm going to highlight verses 18 and 20. For I will declare my iniquity, I will be in anguish over my sin. Those also who render evil for good, they are my adversaries because I follow what is good. Let's pray. God, help us to declare war on our sin, to confess our iniquity freely and take no pleasure in doing evil. Give us grace to pursue blamelessness so that when others oppose us or persecute us or call us their enemies, it will only be for doing good and not on account of our own folly. Let us consider the words of 1 Peter 4, 14 through 16. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. On their part he is blasphemed, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or as a busybody in other people's matters. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. God, we are willing to be persecuted for righteousness, because in doing so we can glorify you. So let us add no offense to the offense of the gospel, no offense from folly or sin to the witness of Christ on display through our lives. We love you, we bless you, and we thank you that you are our righteousness and the one who makes us holy. In Jesus' name, amen.